This video is about wind-burned cypress trees. These are cypress trees as we like to see them. Nice, vibrant, blue-green color. These are off-color, wind-burned cypresses that received severe damage this winter. Note the dead branches, dead foliage, and foliage that's dying. These are full-size cypresses that have been in for 15 years, and they show massive amounts of wind burn damage, as well as snow load damage, where they've been pulled apart by heavy snow load. On the side of the tree where it's protected, they're in fairly decent shape. But on the windward side, where the wind beats against the tree, you can see how the tree became desiccated in different areas. Here and behind me is an example of a winter burned holly. This is a Nellie Stevens holly. Many Nellie Stevens hollies got winter burned in Pennsylvania this year. This is 2014. We had a very bad cold winter with lots of winds and many days where the high temperature was in the teens. When you see trees like this, it is something to be concerned about and you shouldn't monitor it. There is a couple things you can do. The first thing is to do is a lot of people like to take off the dead leaves. You don't really have to do that and sometimes you don't want to do that because if you take off a leaf that's dead, that you think it may be dead, it actually may not and may hurt the tree later. The best thing to do is to wait for a little bit later in the spring to see which leaves are actually good and which leaves are actually bad before you remove anything. The next thing you can also look at is that this one here it has lots of green stems on it. And when you have green stems, there's a chance that the buds may still be alive. So don't remove stems that are green. Wait until later in the spring to see which stems blossom out with new buds and flowers and which stems are actually truly dead. You can see right on this one here, it's just about ready to flower with the flowers of the Nellie Stevens holly. So you don't know how far back where the buds are. Just give it some time and you'll see which buds are alive and which buds are dead. The main idea is don't panic when you see your plants like this. Give it some time. See how the plant's going to react before you go start ripping out and getting new trees. And this was a well-established uh, Nellie Stephen, is that correct? Yes, this was planted in here probably when it was like four to five feet tall. And it's definitely up to eight, maybe even a little bit up to nine foot tall. So. It, even if you planted your tree last year, a lot of trees that were planted prior to that that had been established and been in the ground also had damages. Well, thank you, Mike. And what other trees suffered wind burn damage this year from the severe winter? All evergreens suffered this year. It doesn't matter whether it was a spruce, a pine, a holly, skip laurel, you, they all got hurt with this really bad wet winter. Or just give whatever you see, sometimes you'll see stuff that loses the needles, some of it doesn't look very good. Whatever it is, just take a look at it and let it do what it's going to do. Don't force something or don't start cutting until you know what is actually done. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can call Michael at 267-446-2376. Alright, very good.